In Delaware County, a sanitation employee was killed on the job. Officials say he was pinned underneath a trash truck in the Ridley Park neighborhood. Action News reporter John Paul is live on the 200 block of West Hinkley Avenue with the latest on the investigation. And John, you just learned the identity of the victim, correct? Rick, I did. The company just released that identity a short time ago. They say he was 31-year-old Frank Daniels. He was killed on the road just behind me. Police cleared the uh, scene a short time ago, but they say he was uh, collecting trash, was standing behind the truck when he was run over. Police and first responders descended on the 200 block of West Hinkley Avenue in Ridley Park around noon today, but there was nothing they could do for the victim. According to police, a sanitation worker employed by J.P. Mascaro got caught under the tires of this truck and was run over. He died on the scene. The company just released a statement saying 31-year-old Frank Daniels was part of a three-person team collecting trash. Somehow, the truck backed over him. I feel for the workers, for the victims, for, you know, I mean, I mean, just everybody involved is, is just, a, just horrific. Really, really, really right. tough. The deadly incident hit close to home for Mark and Lisa Robinson. Not only did it happen a few feet from their house, but they've gotten to know the crew over the years. Because I'm a gardener, I'm out here when they come past and we offer them water and they're very courteous and good, good friendly crew. And they've been, you know, the same crew for a long time. So we, we, we know them all. Today we saw crash scene investigators along with OSHA investigators inspecting the trash truck. Police also interviewed the crew about what happened. At this point, it's too early in the investigation for them to release much information. But the Robinsons say this is a reminder for all of us. Tomorrow is promised to no one. To no one, yeah. So it's good yeah. to just take, take a moment and appreciate everything you got. Now the company says they are in close contact with the family of the man who was killed here. And the investigation continues tonight. Live in Ridley Park, Delaware County, John Paul, Channel 6 Action News. Christy.